hello everybody and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to show you how to easily integrate bootstrap on Next.js project so I'm going to demonstrate using this page uh, login page so we are going to move from this to something more attractive with bootstrap so let me just run this and see the change let's refresh and this is a login page with bootstrap the other one without bootstrap welcome back uh, let's dive into the code so here is my code and I'm using bootstrap but not uh, bootstrap but you can actually use both uh, let me show you on my package.json I'm also using bootstrap vu however you can choose to use bootstrap uh, maybe you're coming from HTML CSS side of view and you, you just want to use the normal bootstrap so this is the bootstrap but we are going to go all the way from the beginning so go to your browser and type on your browser bootstrap the first line um, the first line that pops up uh, go into it you'll see bootstrap so this is the latest bootstrap 4.41 click download and then you'll see this button here to download I've already downloaded my bootstrap now let me go to find uh, or your where your file is located so this this is the bootstrap that I downloaded uh, we have CSS and JS so you want to pick either bootstrap CSS or bootstrap minified version dot CSS either of that and the same for JS all right so you pick them and copy them to your project and under assets create a file called CSS and then another one called sorry not a file create a folder called CSS where you're going to put your CSS files and another one called JS so I have both bootstrap.css and bootstrap minified version of CSS however you only need one so the minified version let me just open it uh, it's kind of compressed and you you can't understand anything but the computer we, we will understand of course so this is just the minified version while this is the full version this is gonna take a lot of space but I just have them uh, just in case you want to understand the difference so having bootstrap.css um, or minified version any any can work right so I'm going to use only one of them same as for JS so for JS I have um, minified version while here I can pick any because I already have both files all right so let's go to next.config file and at this particular place you'll see CSS and JS on a new project uh, the JS is normally not there a Nux project uh, a new Nux project while the CSS is there but it's not filled out so you want to add that line there with uh, single quotes so add assets stroke CSS stroke bootstrap dot CSS so you can either choose uh, dot CSS bootstrap dot CSS or dot, uh, or dot minified version dot CSS so either one can work and then go ahead and save that uh, do the same for JS and then that's it um, let me just show you my before we go to run um, my file here my login page so I have these classes like for instance form group which belong to to the bootstrap we have form group we have 
Button, Button LG, uh, all these are bootstrap classes. Column MD6, all these are bootstrap classes. So having this without the bootstrap, it's completely meaningless. But when you have this with the bootstrap, everything changes, right? So we're going to run this and see the effect. But before that, um, let me just close this. Bootstrap. Before that, let me just show you how it looks without the bootstrap. So let's run it. Go to our browser. Try to refresh it. And this is how it looks. So let's change it to to contain poster. Save that. We have to run it again. Takes few seconds, and then try to refresh it again. And there you go. So this is how to use Bootstrap, the normal Bootstrap, um, with Nux.js or Vue.js project. Thank you guys. Uh, let me know if you need any assistance or any tutorial in Nux.js. I'll much appreciate if you hit the like button and. Um, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.